put together numbers to 10, lesson 1.7, we can show all the ways to make a number. These are ways to make 4 as a sum. We can have 0 blue squares and 4 red ones. 0 plus 4 equals 4. We could have 1 blue one and 3 red ones. 1 plus 3 equals 4. We can have two blue ones and two red ones. Two plus two equals four. We can have three blue ones and one red one. Three plus one equals four. Or we could have four blue ones and no red ones. Four plus zero equals four. These are all the ways to make four as a sum. If we had three cookies, and here's Bob's plate and here's Emma's plate, Bob could have three cookies, and Emma could have zero cookies. Three plus zero is three cookies. Bob could have two cookies, and Emma could have one. Two plus one equals three. Bob could have one cookie, and Emma could have two. One plus two equals three. Or Bob could have zero cookies, and Emma could have three. Zero plus three equals three. And those are all the ways that we can make three as a sum. See? And we can show how to make the sum and complete the addition sentences. These are ways to make seven. Do you notice that the seven equals is in the front of the equation? And over here it was in the back. The sum was in the back. Equations can have the sum and the equal sign in the front. That's okay. For seven, we can have 0 plus 7, 1 plus 6, see we have 1 blue one and 6 red ones. We can have 2 blue ones and 5 red ones, 3 blue ones, 4 red ones, 4 blue ones, 3 red ones, 5, and then 2. We could have 6 and then 1, or 7 and then 0. Do you see what's happening here? Do you see the pattern the numbers are making? It's going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this side's going 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. These are ways to make 8. 8 equals 0 blue ones and 8 red ones, or 1 plus 7 or two blue ones plus six red ones, three plus five, four plus four, five plus three, six plus two, seven plus one, or eight plus zero. We have eight blue ones and no red ones. They all equal eight. There are five goats. Some are in the barn and some are in the field. Show two ways we can put the goats. So if there's five goats and we use a blue square for each goat, we'll pretend that these are each goats. What are two different ways that we can show that the goats are split up between the barn and the field? Well, we could put four goats in the barn and one goat in the field, couldn't we? We could also put three goats in the barn and two goats in the field. And we could keep going. We could keep moving them, couldn't we? But it just asks for two different ways. So we could do four plus one, that equals five goats. We could do three plus two, that equals five goats. And that would be two different ways that we could show it. Emma has six gems, some are pink and some are green. How many of each could Emma have? Find and write as many ways as you can. Now the important thing here is it says some are pink. So does that mean that we can have a zero for pink? Nope. Some are pink, that means at least one has to be pink. It says and some are green, so can green be a zero? 
Nope, because some are green, so there has to be at least one. So because it says some are green and some are pink, we can't use any zero equations. We can't use zero in our addition sentence. So we could have one pink one, and remember, there's six gems, and we can have five green ones. That would make six. We could have two pink ones and four green ones. That would make six. We could have three pink and three green. That would make six. We could have four pink and two green. That would make six. Or we could have five pink and one green. That would make six. We can't have any that are all pink and zero green because it says some are pink and some are green. So we know there has to be at least one pink one and one green one when we fill out our table. And do you see the pattern? It's going one, two, three, four, five, and this one's going five, four, three, two, one. See that? Okay, so our next lesson is addition to 10. And we're going to be adding numbers with a sum of 10, and we're going to be adding across, and we're going to be adding down. That's lesson 1.8. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next video. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.